Okay, so I don't know if any of you are fans of the film Blade Runner or anything like that, but kind of it has a fairly, I'd say, famous soundtrack. And the the cat who recorded that is a chap called Vangelis, I believe that's how you say it. The kind of the key to what was going on in some of that stuff was these really, really lush reverbs and these huge kind of uh, attack synths and, and stuff that sounded a, a little bit like this. Obviously I can't get quite, you know, as close to perfection as that stuff, but... I just wanted to experiment with this and show you this little preset so that you could maybe put together something similar if you wanted to. So all I've got going in here is a Jazz River and a US Princess, so it's not exactly about the clean tone. And then it's going into a Cosmos Echo on the top here. You can see the mix is relatively low, there's nothing crazy going on here. Um, and then we go down to output 2A. So all you have to do to change this output here, by the way, is just go across the output and you can send the outputs to various parts of the helix, um, including path 2A. So you could send it out through an actual hardware path um, or, you know, quarter inch XLR, send one to etc. It's quite flexible in that way, or path 2A. So that's what I'm doing. And then I'm coming down here. So if I bypass all of this stuff, um, and we'll add it sort of piece by piece. So at the end, I've got a cave reverb. So it sounds like this without. So it's the legacy cave with 8.5 decay, no milliseconds, 59 low cut, open a high cut up and the mix at 35%. And then obviously that Cosmos Echo is doing some stuff too. Then here I've got a split AB which I'm rooting all the way down here. There's other reasons for this including kind of some free stuff that I, I want to do with this later on. But then we come down here and I'm using the Legacy Attack Synth. This is I think my favourite for this literal kind of tone um, and to me it's quite evocative of that evangelist thing. So if we just turn it on Frequency, I've got 80%. Wave at RAM, attack 100%. Pitch at 50%. Uh, so pitch changes kind of like the octave. But yeah, up 100% will be... That kind of thing. And 50% was where I had it in this part of the video. Um, mix 100%, level at zero. And that's kind of just what you get there. And you only really want to play single notes into this, uh, unless you're looking specifically for something glitchy. So playing chords is super unpredictable, we've got really no way of knowing what's going to happen. Then after that I've got the Cosmos Echo again, so this is the Space Echo. I think it might be close to default settings, 600 milliseconds, 7.5 ramp, 38% feedback, wide flutter at 5, and then mix at 100%, so we're sending it all through here. Headroom at naught at the moment, I might take that higher, just to get rid of clipping, as a good piece of practice. Head 2 and 3, bass and treble at 0, feedback tone at 3.8, splice is off and dry through is off, spread is at 10 for the mod. And I think you can hear that adds 
quite a lot of that modulation, that kind of tape modulation, which to me is kind of the sound that I remember hearing in the, the Blade Runner theme tune. Some of that pretty wobbling. Then I've got a stereo delay here, and this is to kind of throw things left and right. So uh, I don't know whether this is even really needed. Probably not. So I might ignore that one. Then a reverse delay. This one is useful. Well, maybe I've got that one in mono. No, I haven't. So the reverse delay is then obviously going to thicken things up with a bit more delay. <laughs> one second 50% feedback low and high cut are off and mixes at 50% um, and the modulation is off So this stereo delay here might make a bit more difference if there was something collapsing it back to mono here, but since there isn't, it's not necessarily hugely important. And then a dual delay here at the end, and the reason I've got this is to do... some of that kind of freezing stuff. So to, to achieve that, what I'm doing is assigning the left feedback, the right feedback, the left mix and the right mix to the expression pedal two. And then also the attack synth level I've got set to be go the opposite way. So I take down the attack synth when I turn on the freeze. But yeah, those are just some, some ways that I think you could get some of those really cool Vangelis inspired tones. The attack synth is where it's at. And then maybe chuck that into a, a space echo um, and then get as experimental as you like I think after that there's no real rules to this I think it's just out there sounds that you can get with a helix Nowadays, I might consider actually changing out this reverb for the shimmer. And what I would do here is set a really long decay and diffusion. And the other thing, I might have both an octave up or actually have the fifth, um, but set it to be really low in the mix comparatively comparatively sorry to speak like that and then I turn the feedback down a bit and the intensity down a bit and you might get something that sounds like this So yeah, let me know if you want me to drop this into the folder for you to have a play around with. I think it's the sort of thing that could be experimental and maybe you put together something different. It might inspire something different from your Helix. Obviously, it's not the sort of thing you'd use all the time. Um, but yeah, leave a comment if this was at all interesting. The attack synth, I think, is where it's at for this sort of stuff. So yeah, on the HX Stomp or Podgo, this would be totally possible as well. 
um, it's in the legacy section and yeah catch you in another video soon cheers